Hello sweet beans, my name is Silly and welcome or welcome back to the Little Reader's Corner. Today we're talking about some cozy Nintendo Switch games, specifically cozy indie games that are great for anxiety relief. So first up we have Sky Children of the Light. So in this one you arrive as the Children of the Light, spreading hope through the desolate kingdom to return fallen stars to their constellations. This is a social game where you can interact with friends and like-minded players from all around the world. There's minimal social interactions, so you can send messages, and it's mainly about flying through the world, discovering some past stories, experiencing heartfelt adventures, characters, and immersing yourself within the world. It's a beautiful game and the music and immersive experiences are absolutely lovely. So if you're looking for something for a little bit of anxiety relief, this one's great. Next up, we have The Islanders. The Islanders is a relaxing minimalist strategy game where you build cities on colorful islands. There's a certain kind of intuitive building mechanic strategy as you're working to build these different sets of items on your island. You can create your own city, cities on the rugged cliffs of the islands in half an hour or less. And you specifically try to strategize to get the most amount of points. It has a lovely soundtrack. The visuals are really calming and relaxing. And if you want something to kind of stimulate your mind while you're trying to relax, this one is a lovely option. I like doing this when I have gotten bored of solitaire and want something a little bit more strategic to set my mind at ease. Next we have The First Tree. This is one of my personal favorites. It's a third person exploration game where you follow two parallel stories, a fox trying to find her missing family and a son reconnecting with his estranged father in the outer skirts of Alaska. The player takes control of the fox on this poignant and beautiful journey as you follow along life and the understanding of death. As the fox, you uncover artifacts and story about the son's life as he becomes intertwined with the fox's journey. Throughout this, the narrator is talking about grief and life after loss. It's not a fox simulator, it is an emotional, intimate story, and the soundtrack is absolutely gorgeous. This is about a two to three hour playable game, and you can play it all the way through or save as you go along. The visuals are absolutely stunning and it's so lovely and relaxing to play this along just in the evening when you're waiting for a cozy night. Next we have The Journey of the Broken Circle. This is a platforming and storytelling game where this little broken circle goes through a journey of finding love and trying to understand itself. It's about three to five hours of adventure. There are ups and downs as you play as this little circle meeting characters along the way. There's a lot of sweet story about self-acceptance, figuring out who you are, and loving yourself. It has a minimalist romantic tale and goes through examining angst, anxiety, and impermanence as the circle tries to complete itself with different objects along the way. There's a little bit of strategic pieces in it as well as you try to move the circle along the path. And it's a very sweet story. It has some fun interactions with the different characters and has some really poignant bits of speech along the way. It's great to get sucked into it and kind of play through the different levels. There are a lot of different levels and as I said it takes a couple of hours to complete but afterwards it has a wonderful full circle ending, pun intended. And the last recommendation I have for you today is The Little Mouse's Encyclopedia. So this is kind of the most simplistic, calming game. It doesn't really have any storytelling or strategy components to it. You just kind of have this platform of beautiful hand-painted graphics and a little collection of facts. It has an interactive encyclopedia, which is ideal for anyone who is an explorer. You use a little magnifying glass to reveal cards of interesting information. It's available in 18 languages. And a lot of the style is inspired by classic fairy tales and children's encyclopedias. There's relaxing music as you explore as a little mouse through the world. You come across 160 unique species through your explorations. And if you're just looking for a little something to distract you, 
a little something beautiful to look at, then this is a lovely option. So those are all the recommendations I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know down below what is your favorite Switch game, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!